You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Charles Barkley need to sit his butter biscuit eating ass down. And Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal, we don't have no I don't have no respect for you guys either, because you should have checked Charles when he made that statement. Talking about that, we're not claiming that Kobe Bryant to be a hero. We just try to, you know, get him to just try to celebrate his excellence. The 2003 rape case was fair. Really? This article comes from The Blast. It says, it's NBA All-Star Weekend while the league's best player converged in Chicago. The death of Kobe Bryant nearly three weeks ago is what's on everyone's mind. Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith, and Ernie Johnson from TNT's Inside the NBA sat down with Today Show Greg Melvin to discuss Bryant's legacy. Barkley brought up the 2003 rape case against Bryant, which was later dismissed. Quote, Kobe Bryant is one of the greatest basketball players ever, and he had a flaw that we all know about. You have to tell the picture in totally. We're not trying to make Kobe out to be a hero. We celebrate his basketball excellence. We understand what happened in Colorado. That's fair, but two things can be true. He need to sit his butter biscuit eating ass down for that statement. You know, Kobe Bryant don't deserve this. He don't deserve it. Even from his own colleagues, they said negative about him. His own colleagues. <sighs> Let me go ahead and finish reading this. He said... He later said the news of his death didn't make him very emotional. And as for me, me and Kobe were not close, but I just started crying when I got the news. I felt like I had lost a, a member of my family. Then Kenny Smith chimed in and said, we're all imperfect people, and added, so that's what people saw. He challenges people. <clears throat> so I, so did I think it was, it was appropriate or inappropriate? We all... We all are imperfect, but I think what he just done and challenged the world to be, we all saw it. And then Shaq even come in and said, I never see anything like this before. I was at the house the day it happened. My son brought me the thing. You know how the internet is. Stop playing with me. Get out of my face with that right now. Just stop. And then I got the calls. A guy who helped me become as big as I am. And we will always be forever linked. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm just really not. Well, I'm not surprised, ladies and gentlemen. It goes to show, even in death, a lot of people just show their true colors. You notice that when it comes to Paul Walker, when he was killed in a car crash, when he was allegedly, you know, had relationships with. Two 16 year old girls and not one media even dare even bring that up because they would have backlash if they if that happened. Nope, not with Kobe though. Mm -mm. Nah, they want to make sure that Kobe Bryant's rape allegation was on the forefront from the Me Too movement. Even in mainstream media, they want to make it as a forefront. You didn't do it with Harvey Weinstein. And by the way, his trial still going on. You mean you haven't attacked Charlie Rose, Charlie Sheen, Kevin Spacey, Matt Lauer, Charlie Sheen, Woody Allen? You want you want to go there? Let's go there. You, the Me Too movie have it going after them, huh? And they're not gonna say anything to them because they already know they got they already know where they get their butter biscuits from. So Charles Barkley, I'm sorry. You know, to me, you're a butter biscuit coon. And I'm sorry to say it, but it's the facts. You're going to bring up Kobe Bryant's name and his 2003 rape allegations in the time like this. That's why I said with friends like these, who needs enemies? Who needs them? Even so-called friends will try to tell you, Talk you down. Even family members want to try to talk you down. Even in death. 
you know, from now on, ladies and gentlemen, we don't want them to even use their platform to even discuss about other black male celebrities. We're not going to allow that to happen because it's like, on one hand, he was a great guy, but on the other hand, we got to bring up their bring up his past. Let this man rest. Vanessa and the and and and, and their three daughters don't want to hear nothing like that. The oldest one, the seventeen year old, definitely don't want to hear nothing like that. And I know she probably look at you know look at on the internet, see how they trash her father. They don't want to look nothing like that. You know, this is so sad that even in Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant just laid to rest in a private ceremony. They still want to go after his character, want to assassinate his character, want to, assassin- want to kill his legacy, tarnish his legacy. And, you know, that's why I said, you know what, Kobe Bryant, you don't deserve this, man. You really don't. You really don't deserve the treatment you've been caused even in death. But again, when you have those butter biscuits, when you pay millions and millions of dollars from the powers that be, what do you expect? What do you expect? Y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Insight and off. Deuces.